Central Florida and Duke, or I guess UCF and Duke in the Military Bowl. This one's on Wednesday, December 28th, 1 p.m. Central Time. Duke, a three-point favorite currently, total of 62.5, numbers from BetUS. Let's uh, let's break this down. I'm going to turn this music down some, so it's not quite quite so in the ear. But, uh, but look, hey, you start looking at some of these numbers, and, you know, I've got UCF favored by .34 points here. Like, hey, we're not talking anything crazy. Um, but at the same time, you got to worry about uh, Plumlee, the quarterback, and his hamstring injury. Mikey Keene is not going to play in this because he is transferring. Uh, the Duke defense, like, what, what UCF does best is run the ball. But a lot of that has to do with the quarterback run game. So if Plumlee is still dealing with hamstring, how much is that going to affect him getting out of the pocket, etc.? Right? They're not great at throwing the football. Number 70 PPA per pass on offense for UCF. Number 80 for Duke on defense. The passing success rate, UCF number 34, Duke at number 104. Where, where you really want to be with Gus Malzahn's team is running the ball. Number 20 PPA per rush since week 8. Uh, number 22 rushing success rate. Well, Duke is number 72 in rushing success allowed. On the other side of the field, Duke's offense, really good at throwing the ball. UCF's defense, not very good at stopping that or the run, to be completely honest. Uh, Duke, number 34 PPA per pass. UCF's defense, number 102 in that metric. Uh, Number 100 in passing success rate allowed. Duke's offense, number 27. Riley Leonard does really good things with the football. Kevin Johns, the offensive coordinator for Duke, is he has called a fantastic season thus far. They have utilized every bit of talent that they've got, and, and they continue to do so. This game means something to them. I don't know how much it means to UCF, who, of course, lost in the AAC title game. That would have gotten them a uh, New Year's Six Bowl berth, and instead they're in the Military Bowl. So it's a big drop from there. Uh, turnover margin, Duke significantly better. They do not beat themselves. They're number 41 in penalties per game. Duke is number two in turnover margin. Well, UCF number 74 in turnover margin and number 20 in pen, uh, in penalties per game. So you look at this, the team that is uh, less likely to beat themselves would be Duke here. Uh, I know that this line has gotten out to Duke minus three, even though my numbers say that UCF should be favored by a little bit, uh, just based on the data from the last eight weeks of the season. But give me give me the Blue Devils. I like what Mike Elko's doing here. Uh, he's got a, a team that is very fired up. I'm uh, I'm excited about this. Give me Duke to cover the three on that one. Uh, cheers to Mike Elko and Bunch. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.